So if uh, one teacher is going to handle a, a class from uh, as you mean seven thirty to three thirty, how does he get work? How, how does he get home and prepare for the next day? Marking of exercises and uh, the preparation of uh, lesson notes. So I think some of these things the ministry failed in uh, taking them into consideration. Then again, the number of weeks. I know at the tertiary level, I don't know if they are changing now, but it is 16 weeks that we do for a semester. Right. And you want a basic school to run 20 weeks of a semester. How come? So in the year, it's going to be 40 weeks. But when we were practicing the semester, we were able to do about 42 weeks in a term. You see, from January to March or early April, they break. Then they come back in May. By July, August, they break. Then September, they go. By the middle of December, it break so that the child, both the child or the learner and the teacher, can have time to rest. You see, so to me, this arrangement has, uh, as the other elements, has already died on arrival. The ministry must withdraw it. It is professionally wrong for on their part, and uh, in fact, it is not workable to me. Yeah. So, so this is completely unworkable. Completely yeah. unworkable. Yeah, it is not workable. And, and it's something that, uh, as ranking member of, of the Education Committee, that, that, that's the stance you're going to adopt. Is, is that the stance of, of not just you, but yeah. your caucus in Parliament? I mean, I know you are not, Parliament is yet to reconvene, but the thoughts you've been sharing with your colleague MPs, are you on the same page in, in respect to yes. this? Oh, yeah, we're all on the same page. You see, if you look at uh, even the environment in which uh, our teachers and then the students do the teacher and learning, you realize that we don't have the adequate infrastructure. If you look at the, the environment in which the teaching and learning activities take place, mm. you will discover that we don't even have the adequate uh, uh, furniture. In some communities, learners or children have to carry home or carry to school to the uh, kitchen to, to go and sit and learn. And they are going to sit uncomfortable for these hours. So it's not proper. The classrooms, some of them are poorly ventilated. Mm. So if you want to keep the child in that environment for a very long time, you are engaging uh, his or her health. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there. Seven.